most difficult part for me was, I call it real life, real life that I'm living now is a much slower pace. When you're a player, it's a roller coaster of a high pace uh, lifestyle. And when you're retired, it slows down considerably. I still felt that I could play. I had an opportunity to go to Edmonton on a tryout. I wasn't going to put my family through that and made a decision professionally that uh, I was going to retire. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I had a good idea that I was going to get into the broadcasting part of it. No, look, you're not going to be in this game forever because, A, we, you just never know when the game's going to be over for you, regardless of, if, of injury or just father time. You know, but I'm proud to say, look, I, you know, I played over a thousand games in the league and played 16 years in the best, what I think is the best league in the world. And, and winning the Stanley Cup in '96 um, kind of put my mind at ease. That you know, now I've won the Stanley Cup, and it, um, you know, I'm pretty cool with the way things are right now, and uh, I can move forward. And but prior to that, I had gone from Chicago to Winnipeg, back to Chicago to Ottawa then to Pittsburgh and then to Colorado and at that point I just started having a, a family and raised you know having kids and stuff so it was really tough um, being traded around at that point of my career. I walked away from it under my own accord right, right. I didn't like but spiritually mentally aside from that I was still done you know I still I put everything I had into it I wanted to I don't want to be away from my kid all the time um, I want to be a present father and the one thing is, is, and I'm a firm believer of this, is you, you have to have a reason to get out of bed. I just, I needed to do something. I love working with kids. You know, that process of how to motivate the kids. Um, each kid is so different. 60 kids on the ice, you're trying to run a practice, like, oh man, I've never done this before. Through the beginning, and then it's cool, man. And then that process starts where you, you, you know, and, and I'm proud of Ben and I'm proud of myself. And it just keeps getting more and more fun. And a lot of these players in today's game um, should be financially in a pretty stable position if they have any length of a, of a career and they've been smart managing their money. Yeah, you're making good money. Some of you are making outstanding money and probably not going to have to work again. But it's not always going to be there. And I think that's probably the reality check. But at the same time, you've got another 50 years of your life or you know, however long it, it may be that you have to have a purpose to get out of life and you have to find something that, that occupies your time and something that you're passionate about um, because normally the passion that you've put forth is done and over with at maybe 35 years of age, if you want to call that kind of the, the midpoint of, of retirement. You got a lot of years to go. Yeah, I missed it. And, you know, look, for a couple of years, you sit there and go, oh, gee, you know, I could do that. Or, you know, I could win a face off and stand in front of the net on a power play. But I'm glad I got a chance to play my last game as a Blackhawk.